don't feel like it's the ranchers and the landowners along the border. I, I don't believe it's fair for us to have to defend our southern borders or defend our home and our livelihood. My name is Shelly Means. I live in far west Texas, a little town of Valentine. My husband is a rancher. The Means family has been on the same ranch since 1884. We are 20 miles from basically the, from the Rio Grande. Historically, we would have immigrants come across, or just to say Mexican families that would come across seasonally to work for us. We rarely ever saw anybody an illegal coming across. When Biden took office, it was as if the floodgates were open. Two weeks after he took office, we just started seeing just mass amounts of, of illegals coming across. It's more than being in your backyard. It's my mom is 81 years old. She, uh, her husband has passed away. She lives south of Highway 90. She is probably 10 or 11 miles from, from the Rio Grande. She's had her door kicked in. She's had, she's had things stolen. We've had cars stolen. They've taken horses. They cut fences. We've had them break into our house and cause a lot of damage. You could see something behind a mesquite tree and I walked over to it and it's eight backpacks filled with contraband. That just, it's just crazy. I don't feel safe at home alone anymore uh, because you don't know who's on the outside looking in. I don't know a lot of, about SB4, but I feel like um, anybody that's entering our country illegally should be sent back to their own country. And so if our law enforcement, our border patrol, our, just basically across the board, our law enforcement. I think if they are arresting people that are illegally, illegally entering our country, I am 100% for it. If you or I were to enter a country illegally, we would suffer repercussions as well. I don't think this is anything new. I'm not for, uh, I am for immigration. I am for legal immigration. You know, if you can come through here legally, you're documented. I, I'm for that. But all of this uh, invasion, um, you know, our country is nuts for allowing this to happen. And I welcome anybody to come stay with me that thinks differently. The leaders of our country need to have a backbone. They have no backbone. To allow this to happen is a travesty. I don't think that we need uncertain leaders. I think we need somebody certain that's going to stand up for our southern borders and their and their, the people of the United States. We can protect every border. We can protect other countries' borders with our armies, but we cannot protect our own. And we have questions about our own. It's not just those people coming over for a better life. It is the cartel. It's child trafficking. It's everything. Killing the United States, all the fentanyl, the drug. I mean, it's horrible what's going on in Capitol Hill, they're spineless. I mean, we're a joke to other countries, other countries, Euro European countries. I mean, the United States is, a, is the laughing stock. You know, I mean, I think we're going to hell with a handbasket. If we can't protect our southern borders and what's going on down here and how it affects their own people. I mean, we pay taxes for to live in a free country. You know, we're not free anymore.